Pico means Pulama Iko Hohana, or cherish the family. Here at Pico, we want to create a safe space for those experiencing intimate partner violence and their children to learn, grow, and heal together. We want to create a space where there's no judgment and where people can kind of find community again. We were married for 15 years. In about the third year of marriage, we had a baby. And, you know, things were okay for a little while. We lived with his parents and his family. And then the stressors started coming on about not having enough money to move out, all the bills. It was pushing, it was hair pulling, it was name calling. I've been drugged across the floor when I was pregnant. I was seven months pregnant, yanked across the floor by my hair. I thought at this point, we can't break up, we can't get divorced, you know. I'm always going to be like this and it's something I have to do for the kids because the kids need both their parents. And years went on and I just felt sad and I felt sick and depressed and I just cried all the time. I was so sad and I told myself this is not how I need to live, this is not how I need to be, this is not happiness, this is not love. and. I'm not healthy. If I can't be happy and healthy and take care of myself, I can't take care of my children. The very last day I saw my abuser, he had hurt me and I was forced to go to the ER and that's when I met someone from DVAC. I was like hesitant to come. I didn't want anybody anybody to know because it was something I was ashamed of. I've been covering this up for years. I've been married for over 27 years. I didn't want anybody to know. I didn't even tell my closest friends about the things I was going through. In my home in Tennessee, I had been the mom that everyone left their kids with all day long and never checked on. Um, or if parents had to go to work, they would say like can you check in on my child and within just a few months of him really escalating his abuse he had infiltrated everyone in my neighborhood and I was ostracized but I hadn't changed I was still the same person that they knew and trusted and so when I was dealing with these issues in Hawaii I began to just really educate myself and really look for resources and help things that could help me could help my children and so the first time that I called um, DVAC you know, there was a woman who answered the phone who was extremely understanding. So for me, Pico was a relief because somebody understood. They understand the ins and outs of domestic violence, how it affects a victim and a family system. And so it was wonderful to talk to her and then find out what resources were available for me and my children. I called DVAC and I talked to one of the advocates there. At first I didn't connect with a lot of people because my abuse seemed different. But being through all that and hearing everybody's stories, it made me feel stronger. Seeing people at, towards the end of their abuse story, you know, it was great and they had this glow about them. And I wanted to be that. I wanted to be them. The women from my group have become some of my most precious friends. There's just a lot of love, there's a lot of support, there's a lot of basic understanding of what you're fighting every day because this journey is a battle and it's very very easy to get battle weary. For them Pico is a safe place. They think it's art class <laughs> so they're always reminding me like the day before like hey mom tomorrow's art class and they look forward to it. We're really great friends now, Ohana even. We talk on the phone, we text each other, you know, it's a great support group. It's like having a whole bunch of sisters, you know, that understand me and got me to where I am. And just reach out for help. Again, with the Pico, there's just, there's hope, there's healing, and there's help, and that's awesome. I felt like I lost my identity. I lost everything. I, financially, I lost my husband, and now, I know that there's hope and I know I can do this alone without having to depend on someone to control me. You know, I can do this. If you feel alone, just know that you're not. I never knew about DVAC until the day I was in the ER and, you know, I wouldn't have 
been able to get through this without DVAC and PICO. What do you have to lose? What do you have to lose? Survivors and their children face many obstacles after they've left an abusive environment and they need support. No matter where you are in your journey, PICO is here to help.